Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life-changing challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs Merlo and Flora as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. It's Monday, we're in a bricker shop and we've come out for a chainsaw because the old chainsaw finally died. So today it's a treat for Mr Butcher and so that we can have firewood, it's new chainsaw day. Look at the joy, look at the joy on the face. Treat. It's a treat. What can it do? Yeah, for you. Oh. <laughs> wow. Dirty. <laughs> do you need some accessories, sir? I don't know. <laughs> Have you noticed how chainsaws have all got like really manly names like Titan and McAllister and Urbrower? I've been left behind while he goes off to look at something. It's kind of like role reversal, isn't it? When, when you're a woman and you go off in a shoe shop and look at shoes. But at least he gets a comfy chair to sit on. In a brick house shop, you don't get anything. You just got to wait. Where have you been? You've been, matter, you've been ages. <laughs> so the chainsaw that father-in-law lent me broke. Um, I returned it to father-in-law who has been down to the dealership and found they don't do the bit that would make it work again. So it might be the end of the line for that chainsaw. Well, rather than letting father-in-law go out and buy me a new one, I thought I would go out and so I spent our money and bought a replacement um, that I think I'll need to hold on to here because he doesn't need it. Um, it's from a different brand called McAllister. And the reason I went for this model was it was cheap. And I don't do much with it. Cut up a bit of firewood or the odd tree branch. Not a lot. So I didn't see the point of spending a lot of money on it. Uh, it comes with a two year warranty and if in two years, within the two years it breaks, I can get a new one and outside the warranty, I'll buy a new one. Anyway. works that's the important part firstly though I've got to put some oil in so so far the one thing that I can say about this putting this together I've not had any tools so that's great, isn't it? Right, well, let's see if it cuts wood. Mm. 
Well, that went really well. Um, should do being a new machine, shouldn't it? But uh, yeah, um, best crack on and uh, got a bit of wood to cut then. Look, they've all gone. So we've got that pile. Just don't know if it's going to get us through the rest of the winter or not. Um, it's gone very mild today. <sighs> Do I order more? Hmm. Apart from that, change looks good, isn't it? Knife through butter, I think you'd be saying if it was you. Knife through butter. This afternoon we are due a delivery of sand, cement, lime render things. Uh, we've not been given a time because you don't really get given one you get told oh maybe late afternoon um so nick's somewhere pacing up and down but it's beautiful weather as you can see So being delivered right now, we've got the patio slabs, a couple of bags of sand and uh, some cement and some lime so uh, we can get on with work in a serious way. Uh, well, there you have it. Fairly effortless. Look, lots of sand. Lots of cement, lots of lime, and a lot of patio slabs. So the slab, patio slabs are going down there. I think that'll be down to me to get them from here to there. As long as the crane would reach. It's raining, so... Uh, I'll just head in and have a cup of tea. I'll have that cup of tea after I brought inside all of that stuff. Don't want it to get wet out there. Who's naughty doggy playing in the sand? <laughs> oh. 
I'm out in the front wall garden this morning um, in the area where at the end of autumn where I planted all of the bulbs and I've been out with my magical bulb planting tool that doesn't look wrong at all does it <laughs> however what I have done is I've added more bulbs into this bed um, more bulbs that needed to be planted at this time of the year lilies um, things like that so it'll still have more colour coming through as the summer comes on while I'm out here though it is really nice to see everything starting to poke up from the ground that I did plant last year there's loads of tulips uh, all making their way up muscari uh, daffodils it's going to look great in a few weeks time I think Come on everyone, it's time to get up now. Time to get up and face the day. <laughs> A beautiful sunny morning. And uh, yeah, the forecast is looking good. So best get on and do some work. And uh, I'm gonna mix up some lime mortar for Claire to be pointing the wall in the back garden. So I've got my mixer, got the sand, I've got the lime. Just wanted to show you this is different sand so the sand that we had that we did the little bit of wall this bagged stuff which is that color and the sand that we've just had delivered in bulk from the uh, brico shop is that color so it'll be interesting to see how much different the colour is when it's all mixed and the wall is pointed it should hopefully be a bit lighter so uh, anyway let's get on and I've got a helper again today haven't I Flora Flora are you play in the sandpit I've got the mix on wearing round for Claire. Um, my first job of the day, get these down there somewhere. Sweating. Finally, this morning there has been a break in the weather. It's not raining yet. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. So that means I'm ready for the high maintenance wall or to begin the high maintenance wall yay and nick has very kindly put some boards down for me because this is just 
mud with the rain. It doesn't look that bad, but it definitely is. So I have my tools. I have my sticky, sticky thing, which hasn't been cleaned, which I might use that. I've got my big square thingy and i bought myself a new one of these because it's kind of like lady lady sized um yeah and i've got my bucket of goo all technical terms all of them i understand i've got my goggles on i've got my gloves let's have at it In and I'm making progress definitely I decided to, rather than going for the middle of the wall to go from the bottom up it just kind of made sense um, I'm just about through my first bucket however it is starting to rain mm. this isn't good and the lightning app on my phone has just pinged up There's, there's times where I don't actually think that you can make this up. <laughs> I was doing, I was doing really good. Yeah, okay. There's the cement and whatever. You know when you just, you just starting to get into it and you just getting your, getting your little flow going and then. I'm gonna ignore it for just a little bit longer. It's a great day to be working outside. Hopefully, this morning's efforts won't have just be washing away right now. further on weather's kind of cleared up nothing seems to have washed away yes right time to crack on and do some more finally kind of got the better of me today and it's been raining for quite a while where it's underneath this pipe it's actually quite dry and the walls quite protected um but I'm getting cold and I'm going to go in for today I'm really pleased that I've made a start on it um and I'm going to come back out in a few hours and I'm going to brush it all down um and take all of any major bits off of brick faces or stone faces I'm soaked through and I'm a bit cold now. Sometimes you just need a little bit of home comfort and takeaway for us is few and far between. Um, yep, you can get things over here like McDonald's, you can get KFC, can't get chicken on the bone, I don't know why. However, we have decided tonight to come out and try our local British fish and chip van, Mr T's Frittery, Karen and Tony. So, we're giving it a whirl. I'm really excited for this. I'm excited to have fish and chips that I've not cooked. And we've actually come out to a place in San Jean. They're having their sign renewed, I think, called The Fun Bar. It's kind of nice because we don't get a lot of human interaction where we are. I need to go home now. I'm overstimulated. It 
it's Sunday morning and last night we had some excellent fish and chips from Mr T's Frittery. If you're in the area and you want to know more about them, I've put a little link in the bio underneath so you can find them on Facebook and find out where they go, what they do. Really yummy. Brilliant. I'm just editing today's video and I realised that I've not actually managed to show you the part of the wall that I completed. So I'm going to take you over there now and show you how far I've got. So I started this a few days ago. Um, I only managed to get kind of one real day done on this. It's the first time I've done any type of pointing work. I'm really pleased with it um, and I'm looking forward to doing more. However, rain and weather have kind of stopped us this week in our tracks which has been oh, really annoying um we've had high winds the windows on the mason de Maitre have been blowing open in the night um the wind's been howling around the house anyhow after my day of lime mortaring um we did come back out later on in the evening and we got the part of the wall that i had done all brushed down um it's really good because the corner that I was in, it's been protected from wind, rain, so it's actually come out really well. Let's take a look. Quite pleased with that. And I am looking forward to when I can just crack on and do the rest of this. The weather's kind of ruling a lot of what we do at the moment, and we're constantly looking at the weather forecast. We are weather obsessed at the moment. I know other YouTubers at the moment are also doing lots of line pointing. Um, I do believe they're lucky they're inside <laughs> so yeah i'm looking forward to kind of cracking on and just getting this done um this week has been a bit of a washout for us um not completely however we have managed to get some other stuff done this week was the week of cars for us um my truck beautiful truck ah, and nick's nissan um it was time for a thing in France called a CT, a control technique, which is very similar to what a British MOT would be. Um, you have one on the car once every two years. Both cars went for them this week. Mine passed with flying colours. Uh, sadly, Nick's car did not. So he's back to the garage on Monday to try and sort his car out. It's just another one of those many things that go on behind the scenes that nobody sees normally. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll get it fixed. Hi, and welcome to Wine of the Week. And, uh, well, welcome to a Shout Mary team that isn't raining today, so yay! How's been this morning, though? Hopefully that's it for now. <laughs> had enough of that this week. Had enough of wind, had enough of rain. Anyway. Anyway, another week where we don't have wine, but some very French products. What is this one? It is Panache. This one is grenadine flavoured. And this one is peach. Peach flavoured. Panache, Panache is, is, is wheat. Beer, isn't it? Really, really weak. In the beer. UK, we'd call it a shandy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Over here, they call it panache. It's all right. It's uh, we're still kind of in the region of midday here, and we thought, well, let's just let's just take, take, take a calm, take Yeah. Calm, yeah. <laughs> anyway, which one do you want? Peach. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this week's episode. If you have, please click the like button. And if you're not a, a subscriber, please hit subscribe. You can also find out more about us and followers on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Or our website at www.thexpatbutchers.com. It's your turn next week to say that. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Happy Sunday. Thanks for watching and we will see you next week.